you get the agenda up in an order. If folks could go ahead and <clears throat> add themselves into the agenda, that would be great as attendees. And let me get that agenda in order. We usually start about five after, gives people a chance to turn up. We are gonna be a little bit late this week because KubeCon China is going on. And if somebody would be willing to share the agenda, that would be super helpful. Uh, do you see the agenda? <clears throat> I do. Thank you very much, Ivana. Yeah. Uh, you asked for uh, for uh, the KubeCon China or? Um, I, I know that we have a lot of people who are at KubeCon China. Are you at KubeCon China? Uh, no, but I've heard with Nikolai. Uh, his talk has passed. Uh, he said uh, usually people, they're not very active with questions. So, but he had some discussions with them after. And uh, he also, he, he said he's trying to get some contributors from there. Awesome, that sounds good. It sounds like there was a positive reception. Cool. So go ahead, if folks are interested, go ahead and add things that you think should be on the agenda. Uh, there are a few things that I have not carried forward to this agenda that we could if people are interested, primarily because we don't have Frederick and Nikolai here, uh, particularly things around roadmap uh, and that kind of stuff. Um, if folks do want to pull those forward to this meeting, I'm more than happy to. Um, just let me know. Cool. So uh, drilling down into the agenda, um, we have our usual um, events. So recurring events, uh, NSM has a docs meeting that happens weekly on Wednesdays um, and a use case meeting that happens the second, fourth and fifth Mondays um, in addition to this meeting. And then the CNCF Telecom user group, which is not technically NSM, but we work very closely with them, is on the first and third Mondays at 8 a.m. So going on right now, we have KubeCon China, um, which is underway. We've got an intro talk that apparently went very well with Nikolai and Frederick. I'm anxious to hear about it when they get back. Uh, Nikolai is gonna be doing an answer bar and we have Twitter support for all of this, which is amazing. Thank you, Lucina. Um, and then there's also um, some tug stuff going on that we expect to be participating in there as well. Um, we have talks coming up at ZPDK user space. Frederick's giving a talk the 19th to the 21st. Um, there is some potential to do something at Open Core Summit. If people are interested, they've reached out. Um, Open Networking Summit Europe is coming up and that CFP has now closed. Um, so it looks like Nikolai and, and Taylor submitted a talk on NSM plus the CNF testbed. And Radoslav is also gonna be talking about the forwarder kernel efforts. And Ivana has submitted a talk about the SOI and SM stop, which is also super interesting. And there's actually, I think, a spec out there now, Ivana. Is that correct? If people are interested, they should go look at that. Yes, I described uh, some of the things I thought on. Uh, and yes, anyone is welcome to give feedback. Cool. Excellent. Um, uh, Awesome. And then we've got the open source summit coming up. There's a CFP open for that. I think Nikolai's thinking of giving a talk there. Uh, folks, I strongly urge that we get on the KubeCon Cloud Native North America. That CFP closes on the 12th. So it's getting really close now. We'll probably start doing a shared doc to gather ideas, uh, much as we've done um, on other occasions. 
And then um, co-located events. Envoy Con is coming up there at co-located as well. Um, we should probably look at doing something with their CFP. And then um, Edge Compute World is coming up in December. <clears throat> and Edge Congress is coming up in November in, in Austin. So we may want to do something at those. And then a, a sort of a final reminder, if you do have sites, please add an event to the site. Uh, push a PR to the Network Service Mesh site. Any questions about events? Any other events that we should know about that we don't have listed here? Do we consider only big international events or all of them? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Uh, I mean, do we consider only big international events or any kind of event? Um, I think traditionally we've considered any kind of events. Um, because um, there is uh, EastCon, it's international, but it's smaller, several hundred people. It's in Sofia and uh, a talk about SMI and SM is already accepted there. And I don't know yet if Radoslav talk is also accepted. Because so I, I, I would strongly urge you to not only add that to the list that we have here, but also to push something up to the Network Service Mesh site. because. For me, at least, and other people may view this differently, I, I see this as how do we capture events where people are going to be doing things related to network service mesh, that we can promote them to the broader community. Um, so I would be thoroughly delighted to capture the event that you mentioned in Sofia. Okay, I'll add and update uh, both places. Cool. And I, I think, Taylor, you mentioned, and if you go ahead and just add that, um, that you know, basically, you, Nikolai, and Yang, you are submitting something to KubeCon North America. I presume probably on uh, Network Service Mesh plus the CNF testbed, which is all goodness. So do feel free to add that here. And again, the, the other thing I would strongly urge Yvonne is push a PR to the website, right? That, that makes it super easy for everybody to find. It gives a nice hook that the social media team can tweet on and you know, we can get you all the love and promotion that, that the talks deserve. Cool. Anything else? Oh, I'm sorry. And Taylor also commented that he can't add it right now because he's in China. Um, so do, just make sure to get it up there when, when, whenever you get a chance, Taylor. We'll definitely get that reflected. So, um, Next up, I believe we have the social media team. So Lucina, how is that going? Hi there, it's still going pretty well. Awesome. Uh, let's see, so tried to give quite a few reminders of the intro um, that happened today and I'll be sure to give another reminder to, uh, later on today, which is Wednesday morning in China. Mm -hmm. So I guess in like, <laughs> I'm trying to do the math. I guess in like 12 hours, uh, yeah. Nikolai is going to be at the CNCF answer bar. And so I'll post a reminder right after this call about that. Nice. And we've gotten um, seven new followers. We've followed 20 more people and um, posted, retweeted about 14 times in the past week. Awesome. And so I, um, I'm looking for mentions and any pictures of the intro and not finding them on Twitter. So I'm not sure. Maybe we'll be able to do some recaps next week once Nikolai and Frederick get back. Mm -hmm. um, and if, there, if anyone um, is there and took pictures, feel free to share it with me in some way, um, whatever way works from, from there to here. And I'll be happy to post any um, media material and uh, recaps of the talks that happened at KubeCon China. And yes, uh, if anything is added to the networkservicemesh.io events page, I'll be sure to promote that as well. And once the 0 0.1 release is ready, I'll announce that. And once the redesign of the website is ready, I'll um, announce that. And if you'd like me to put out a request for folks to take a look at the the, the work in progress, I can do that if we want more comments on the PR. Okay. I mean, I, I think the, the PR has been out there for a little while, um, and I would, it's certainly something I want to discuss today. I know Luke has been super patient um, about the merge of the initial PR, and I know there are lots of small things that various people would like to tweak as we go. 
So I, I'm not sure how much longer we want to keep that hanging out as a PR. Um, we'll see. Um, but definitely, if we if we get it up as, a, as if we get it up uh, and we switch over, we would want to call attention to the new look and feel of the website. Definitely. Yes, that sounds good. That's where I was thinking as well. Yep. And then there's a call for demo at the um, Kubernetes community meetings that we talked about last week and the um, OVS Orbit podcast interview scheduled for July 2nd. That's awesome. Cool. That's very good news. Um, so thank you. you. You do excellent work on this. And it's so much so appreciated. Thank you so much. I'm open to feedback and suggestions. If there's anything you want me to do more of or less of, just, right. just let me know. Thank you. Cool. So that brings us around to the uh, Network Service Mesh website redesign. So um, there's a PR that's been out for a little while where Luke Perkins from the CNCF basically went through and did a really nice clean redesign of the website. And uh, let me go ahead and show you guys the preview of that because it's absolutely beautiful. Oh wait, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sharing. <laughs> Um, Ivana, if you could click on the uh, preview link for that agenda item and show folks. Cool. So this is sort of the new website. Uh, we've got a new front page. It's quite a bit simpler um, and cleaner. Um, I think it does a nice job of capturing some of the features um, that we have and sort of how things work. Do folks have any thoughts or comments or input? And then we've got quite good documentation as well. Um, it's got a beautiful table of contents, goes through and talks about problem statements. Um, and it sort of encapsulates sort of the concepts, releases, set up tasks and videos, stuff that we had before, but in a much cleaner layout. And then community is gonna look super familiar. It looks very much like what we had, um, giving pointers to all the things. And then events got much cleaner as well. Um, events is just a linear list of the events, which I kind of actually like better because you can actually see what's going on. So what I wanted to do, we, we've already sort of sent this out to the mailing list and we got a little bit of feedback on the PR. And so I just wanted to, to know how folks thought about, um, about merging this and sort of building on this as a visual base for the site at this point. Do folks have opinions they want to express or questions or comments or how do people feel about going ahead and merging this? Hello, this is Frederick here. I strongly agree with merging it. I think we can do changes over time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, do other folks have thoughts and opinions? Um, I like the design, how it's, uh, how the links are with the colors of the logo. Mm -hmm. it's pretty creative. Color is super powerful. I'm a huge fan of color. I'm just not all, I'm not the guy you want to ask for a color palette, but man, do I love a color palette. Um, <laughs> I can't make one to save my life. Um, cool. And then um, anyone else have sort of feedback on this or? I think the, uh, this is lots of, I think the font should be, the type should be a bit bigger. Okay. Uh, this seems a bit small to me, but that's also that we can't change. Yeah, that, that, that should be pretty easy to tweak. Um, shall we go ahead and, and merge this then and we can iterate together as a community and, and fix all the things? Yeah, looks nice. Cool. All right, so we'll go ahead and get that done. I, I know Luke will be super happy. Um, he's been very, one, very patient. Mm -hmm. One last thing. Um, so on the very top, we have Twitter and GitHub listed. We should probably add a little Slack button as well. Ooh, that would be nice. Although there, there's a little bit of trickiness to Slack because of the um, the need to register. Um, I know we did have 
so it's going to be interesting to figure out what to do with the Slack button. Because I know just yesterday I had somebody who got themselves super confused trying to figure out how to sign up for to get to the Slack channel because of the need for an invite. Um, and, but that's just a standard Slack problem. Yeah, maybe we can have a page on, on that that it links to instead of Slack directly. So we can say step one, register here. Step two, join, join here. And we could even do um, pictures or something similar to that. No, I, I, I think that's probably a really good idea, actually. Um, I, I'm all about lowering the barriers to communication as much as humanly possible. Um, because it, my experience has been that I'm not good at thinking about the ways that people will get confused and lost when they do these things. So. Yeah, barriers are for CPUs, not people. <laughs> exactly. Awesome. Cool. So we'll go ahead and do that. Is there anything else that anybody wanted to talk about today? I know there's there's a lot of activity going on. Specs are being written. Specs are being implemented. Um, we had talked about trying the doc team turning some of the, the technology tree into a roadmap. So there's a lot of good stuff happening in the background. Just not sure how much is landing other than the website this week. All right, cool. Excellent. I will talk to you guys later. See you next week. Thank you. See you. Thanks. See you. Cheers. Bye-bye.